to start the question that my memory is phenomenal through the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is there any verse in the Quran which speaks about memory? As far as people keep on asking me that what is the secret? Do you have a computer chip? What is the secret? The secret it is given in the Quran. And in my Dawa training program, which I take for my students, I say there are three things required. Number one, the Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter number three, verse number 160, that if Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers put the trust in Allah. Number one is trust in Allah. Number two, the Quran says in Surah An-Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 69, if you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you struggle and do jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open up your pathways. Number two is hard work. And number three is, Allah says in Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, and Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, first alu ahli zikri in kumdulat alamun. If you don't know, ask the person who's knowledgeable. The third is the technique. The technique which we train in our Dawa training program. People ask me, Mr. Zakir, what is the technique? I tell you, that is the third and the least important. Number one is faith in Allah. With all your techniques in the world. You know, many of my students have done MBA and memorizing technique, triangle and horse. I don't know whether you know about the triangle technique and this and that and pegging. Initially, they are good students. Towards the end, they come at the bottom. Allah's help is the best, better than any pegging or any triangle, anything. Number one. How do you get Allah's help? If you strive in His way. You strive in His way, you have to get success. If you don't get success, you are not striving correctly in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regarding technique of memory, etc., that is least important. We have a training course where we have a 40 days training course where we train people, and mashallah, you'll be shocked. That even my students, Alhamdulillah, they quote chapter number, verse number, chapter number, verse number. We have our training program where we get students from different parts of the world, and we train them in how to give lectures, how to handle question and answer session. It's training and hard work also. As far as the verse of the Quran is concerned, before the beginning of my talk, I always quote a verse of the Quran from Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 25 and 28, which says, this was a dua when Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tells to Moses that go and deliver the message. And before delivering the message, Moses, who was a stutterer, he used to stammer. And those who know me personally, even I was a stammerer when I was a child. And in my dream, a person can dream of anything in the world. In my dream, I could have dreamt of becoming the best surgeon in the world. But I couldn't have dreamt of speaking in front of 25 people. Because I was a stammerer. People ask me, what is your name? I said, my name is Adha, 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 Adha. That was me. Now, coming in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe about 10, 15 years back when I got involved in the field of Dawah, when I started doing Dawah, stammering wasn't there. When I spoke with Christian missionaries, stammering used to vanish. I never thought of becoming a speaker. I came on the stage because my colleague was cold feet. I came, it clicked, and now I'm on the stage. And now by Allah's grace, I give lectures to tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people. The largest gathering is a million people live, alhamdulillah. That comes back to the verse of the Quran. When Moses was asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to deliver the message to Pharaoh and his people, he read a dua, a dua, a prayer from Surah Taha. Chapter number 20, verse number 25 to 28, which says, Rabbish Rahali Sadri. Oh my Lord, expand my breast for me. Expand my center for me. Rabbish Rahali Sadri. Vayasilli Amri. And make my task easy for me. Rabbish Rahali Sadri. Vayasilli Amri. Wahalul Ugdata Mille Sani Yafkav Kauli. And remove the impediment from my speech. Because Musa alayhi salam was a stammerer. I also was a stammerer. Remove the impediment from my speech so that they will understand me. So the people to whom I'm delivering the message, 
I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to expand my breath for me, to make my task easy for me, remove the impediment from my speech so that the people will understand me. So this is a dua which can also be used for memory. But the main is having faith in Allah, second is striving hard and third is technique. Hope